guys, welcome back to our channel. It's been a while. So, a few things happened since um, our previous video. And one of it is we just had a lambing season. Today's video is all about our lambing season. In this video, we'll also be marking and tagging weathers and the ewe lambs. Um, we are trying to get into a tagging system or some sort of um, management system to keep track of our ewes and um, prevent inbreeding. So we gently um, took the ewes with the lambs to the crawl where the lambs were sorted from the ewes. Um, if it was a ram lamb or soon to be weather, it was marked and we use rubber bands. If it was a ewe lamb, um, we gave her a red tag. Now we'll be using red for 2020. That will just represent all lambs born in 2020 will have a red tag. Next year we'll probably use a different color so we know which year the U was born in. Um, for now we're not adding any numbers to the tags. Um, I don't think our management system is that intense or our farming system is that intense that we require numbers for every U but you can always do that. Um, if you really want to track every single you and how she's lambing and when she's lambing, is she giving, is she giving singles or twins or triplets? Um, is she performing well? Is she not lambing at all? Is she um, a good you? Um, does she look after the lambs or is she one of those that just throws them away? So the list can go on and on and on. Um, but for us, we have a bit more of an extensive farming um, system, so having numbers is not really going to benefit us at this point. We are also not sorting our ewes at this stage. Um, we're just trying to grow the herd and then later on we'll class them and see which ewes are performance-wise doing a bit better and keep them. <coughs> So after um, we marked the lambs, they joined up with the ewes again and they stayed in a um, fenced off camp for, for a day or two before we are taking them back to the farm. Um, we've been feeding them for about a month, maybe a bit over a month. So all those lucerne bales we stacked up, they were for this reason and that was to feed the ewes during this lambing season. There is a few ewes that still needs to lamb, um, but we are confident that they'll be fine out in the fault. 
and we'll keep an eye on them as lambing proceeds. This is also why you want to synchronize the use, which we didn't do. Um, but if we can synchronize them, we'll have a shorter lambing season, um, meaning that they will all lamb approximately at the same time, say within one month exactly. That just simplifies the feeding, the lambing, and when to take them out back into the felt. Um, obviously, this is also part of the management that we are working towards is getting our ewes more synchronized before we put the rams back in and there's several ways of doing this and we'll try to explore some of them um, but for now most of the ewes land they're back in the felt and we'll plan towards our next breeding season This is it for today's video. This was our first lambing group and we are very excited for how it turned out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, hit subscribe and the bell to be notified every time we post a new video and we'll see you in the next one.